What's up guys, Andy with Andy's Auto Care Plus. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and trying out a new product. Uh, this was actually sent to me from a company um, just to try out and there's a unique story behind this um, because this is ex pretty much exactly the kind of steamer that I started with when I first started doing auto detailing. So that's why I wanted to do this video and that's why I was kind of excited about it just to give, uh, if you're a beginner, to show you that you can actually do some steam cleaning with a product like this. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and open up the box and get straight into it. And uh, we're gonna fire this thing up and we're gonna see how long it takes to heat up, that sort of thing. And uh, hopefully I can speed up that portion of it. So just opening it up, we're gonna just check it out to see what's all in the box, that sort of thing. So as you can kind of start to see, this is not your normal steamer. This is a steamer that is probably made for like houses and you know doing clothes and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and get everything absolutely everything so that's what it is guys right there so I'm not gonna go through the instructions because I'm pretty sure I can figure it out because I'm a man right just kidding that's a joke you know what I didn't do was get power over here you grab that extension cord over there and just unplug what's plugged into it anyway guys so really the story behind this particular steamer um is this company just reached out to me asked if i would do a, you know a review and the way i do my reviews is i make sure that uh i'm gonna do it honestly i told them that up front that i would do an honest review and if they still want to send it to me great that sort of thing i said it's not very practical for me anymore um, as far as a steamer goes. But one thing that I did tell them is I kind of told them the backstory of it because when I was doing detailing three years ago when I started my business, um, I've been doing detailing a lot longer than that, but three years ago when I started it, I wanted to use a steamer. So I looked around my house and I found a steamer in the house that was for like steaming clothes and stuff like that after it's uh, after they're washed or to get wrinkles out. So you know what? I should probably lift this over just a little bit so I don't put too much water in this. I got it heating up. Maybe I should just open it up. I imagine it's one cup of water. Seems pretty easy. Hopefully I'm not boring you guys with this at the moment. Just gonna look for how much water to put in it, guys. In fact, maybe I'll just put one in there. We're just gonna do one. It comes with a nice little neat little funnel. That's that's cute. So I got some distilled water here. Let's see if there's markings on it. Yes, there is. So we're gonna go all the way to the top with this. Obviously, this is not very much water, guys, and obviously this is not my McCulloch that I normally use that you guys know of. I'll uh I'll actually put a little link to my review of the McCulloch steamer up at the top of this video. This is a this is a very, very entry level. If you're gonna want a steamer and you're on a very tight budget, this is where it's at. Because you can still get a stain out by using some steam. It'll, it, it just helps release all that nastiness that's that what we call stains. So there we go, I added some water to it. It already seems like the boiler's heating up on it, guys. So that's good, it works quick. All right, let's see here. It's got this neat little flexible hose on here. Interesting. So it's got some pretty cool stuff on it. Come on in with the camera here and I'll show you guys some of the different things it comes with. So this is, this is, like I said, it's set up for, uh, for using it with a house, that sort of thing for, for your clothes inside. But I just wanted to see if there was any uses for this thing at all in the detailing world, that sort of thing. You got this neat little tip here. If I can figure out how to put it on there, right? Yeah, that just goes on snugly like that. So let's just, let's do this. Let's check this out. Okay, that just locks into place actually pretty easily. 
I don't know if this would be practical, guys. I, I'm really not sure on this portion of it, but we're gonna just check it out and play with it anyway. So there, that's locked. Let's see if we're getting anything out of it yet. It does look like it, it has a little safety feature here. That's good. It doesn't let you pull the trigger unless you uh, unlock it. Oh yeah, we're already getting some steam. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's cold. That heated up really, really fast. Okay, this is, I gotta be honest, this is way better than the one I started with, guys. The one I started with would barely blow any steam. This actually looks like it works fairly good. I mean, if you were looking to do something like getting, cleaning out cracks and crevices, this would probably do the trick with that tip right there. So let's try out one of the other ones here. I'm impressed with how fast that heated up, but I guess I'm used to one that has, you know, four or five of these full. So let's try this little brush here. Check that out. Comes with a little cute little brush. So is this practical once again, like I was talking about? That's, I guess, for you to decide. Is it worth the money? I mean, this thing's pretty cheap. It's not crazy expensive. Um, it's probably really similar to the entry level, entry level McCulloch, which I have not tried that one. All I have is my bigger McCulloch, that sort of thing. Uh, I have one on the shelf sitting right over there that you can kind of see. Um, but that's what I use on a daily, um, which is a great steamer. Um, but I mean, like I said, if you're on a super tight budget and you're just wanting some steam in order to loosen up one stain here and there and you're not, you don't use steam to clean the entire vehicle, this could be a pretty good option. Let's see here. So it actually looks like it does have a pretty good amount of pressure. I, I, it is a little awkward because you would have to hold a little bit of both things here, but it actually gets pretty darn good pressure. I'm not gonna put my hand in front of it. That would pretty much be stupid, even though I already did it. Comes with a little bonnet. So you could probably use this one for cleaning a seat, I'd imagine. Let's try that. Wrap a microfiber around that. Yeah, that would definitely help, guys. For an entry level, like dirt cheap kind of steamer, I don't know, it's not too bad. I'll try it out on a couple cars. I'll do a couple of videos of me trying it out on a car, see how awkward it is, that sort of thing. So anyway, guys, I'll, I'll attach a link down at the bottom of this video for this actual steamer, um, plus a couple other steamers. If, if you're on a bigger budget, I would suggest getting one of the bigger ones. But if you're on a really tight budget and you're just starting out, this could be a good option um, so far. I mean, it seems all right. It seems very sturdy. It's, it seems well made, that sort of thing. Um, I, I don't want 100% vouch for this yet until I actually use it inside of a car on a stain. But if you want to try it out as well, feel free to go ahead and buy it down below. But anyway, guys, Andy with Andy's Auto Care, like I already said, you should know by now, hopefully. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that, please. Um, that'll help me out. Click the like button. Leave a comment down below of what steamer you started out with. Um, if you just all, all of a sudden just had the money and you just went straight to a VX5000, fantastic, fantastic. But if you started out with something like this or if you started out with something like that, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what kind of steamer you started out with. Or if you don't use a steamer, let me know. Cool. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, guys.